AC was dripping like Niagara Falls. You see the rain pants cracked right there. Let me get a close up on it. Big old crack. I think someone replaced the coil and was snatching on it a little too hard and cracked it. It's dripping bad underneath. I see some dork tried to try to use silicone. It didn't work. It's dripping all over the top of the water heater. So, I'm gonna have to replace the pan. And uh, I've never done this before in all my years. Never had to replace a, a leaky, cracked drain pan. So, this ought to be fun. I'm gonna have to figure out a way to get the coil up and get the pan out. It's a good man. I don't know if they're glued in or how they put them in. Bring you along for the journey. Yeah, Goodman glues these, uh, they glue the coils in, so whoever replaced this coil probably snatched on it and pan down the middle. I don't know. Who knows? Obviously this comes out. Yeah, there we go. We gotta look at the old crack. Man, that's a big old butt crack. With silicone on it. Take this off. Cut the power. I have to take all this mess off. Remove the plumbing. Oh, this is gonna be fun. <laughs> yeah, this wasn't glued, so I just was able to pull it apart, hallelujah. Take this coupling off so I can turn it. I thought the old silicone might have it locked up, but it didn't. That's right, I whistle my issues. You may issues whistling. That's how my old grandpa talked when he had his his false teeth in. Yeah, let's, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something good. Alright, it's coming on out. I'm gonna have to remove all the plumbing, so we'll go to the float switch. Cut it so I can turn it. And they got it glued in so I can't pull it out. Should be able to use a coupling with that as well. I think it's kind of loose. few strips on there skid jeez I don't know all right now I'm gonna take the panel off here take all this off so I can see I won't film that whole boring process but I'm just pretty much taking all the screws out get the light on it take these out these it's gonna be fun all right, I took all the screws out Closer. Gotta take these out then. It'll be ready. Gotta try to lift that coil up just far enough so I can get the pan out. That's my plan anyway. That's my first time doing this, so who knows how it's gonna work out. All you HVAC gurus will probably be screaming at the at the at your phone or your computer, whatever you're watching this on. Oh well. Good thing mistakes are our greatest teachers. I'm not gonna film this whole boring process. Pretty much just take the dang thing apart as long as you can remember how to put it back together. Take all the screws out, take all this crap off, and that's it. 
All right, I got everything off. Now I'm gonna to try to just lift this coil up out of the pan. Just try to lift it out of the pan. It's not mounted. It's, it's, it, this coil has been replaced before, so <clears throat> there's no screws or nothing in the side holding it in. It's just laying in there, so I'm just gonna just try to lift it. I can't film it because I need both hands. And as you can see, it's a pretty tight spot, so I don't have anywhere to put the camera unless you want to. You want me to put it on the water heater and film my crotch while I do it. But all I'm doing is lifting this up out of the pan, then removing the pan. And I'm going to put the new one in. Whew. Man, I got it. I got it without taking the coil out. Whew. I thought I was going to have to. I mean, I was about to throw in the white towel. Unless you finally slipped on out. there to brace the coil up. Oh, what a pain in the butt. Whoever decided to glue these coils in up at Goodman, I'd love to sit down and have a couple whoop ass with them. That's where the crack was. Let me move some of that silicone so we can get a good gander at it. So I'm just going to get the new one slide it right back up under there hopefully I can come in from the bottom or something easier Woo! first one ever guys I got the new one coming from Jacksonville so when it gets here I'll slide her in and there's the crack from the inside it was leaking pretty bad All right, guys, I got the new pan in. It was uh, easier going in than coming out. I mean, there's really not much to it, guys. Sorry I couldn't film it, but there's not much to it. I mean, I'm just lifting the coil up and sliding the pan under with the other hand. And, uh, you know, like I said, this coil has been replaced, so the screws are out on the side. So if your coil hasn't been replaced, you're going to need to remove the screws from the, the side of the air handler to lift the coil. But these are already out. And uh, sorry I couldn't film it, guys. I mean, if you want me to, leave you know leave a comment. I'll, I'll put the camera right here on the water heater and just film my crotch bouncing off the camera lens while I'm grunting and yelling weird things. I mean, just picture a guy wrestling with a coil like, fart sniffer, and then sliding the pan under. That's all there is to it. All right, I'm going to clean it up a little bit and uh, put the plumbing in. Yeah, these threads were butt naked when I took it out, and it wasn't leaking, but I don't know, man. There's just something in me that will not allow threads to go back in butt naked. I got to put something around it just for peace of mind. Put some Teflon on these threads as well. This is for the float switch. It's five o'clock on a Friday and I'm doing this, so I'm breaking one of my rules that I try not to get into this kind of stuff on Friday, but yeah, it is what it is. I had to get it from Johnstone, which came from Jacksonville so I hurried up to Johnstone and grabbed it and hurried back the first part I filmed yesterday of, of the cracked tray alright that should be good get a water bottle and test it out before I button everything back up throw an old coupling on here I've seen Steve Lav in his videos, man, he uses like some kind of clear tubing. I got me some of that, but I don't I didn't grab it, so I'm gonna use this for right now. Just an old three-quarter coupling. Make <clears throat> sure it's nice and tight. Cool, and I'll do the same to this side. This is just the float switch, so hopefully no water even gets in there. 
Yeah, I've been in this business since 2003, and this is the first AC drain pan I've ever had to replace. How I got away with that, I don't know. Just luck of the draw. Alright, this is like the fourth bottle of water and still no leakies. If it was going to do it, it'd do it by now. We're good. Alright, we'll button it back up. Alright, I got it all buttoned up. Just pretty much put that on first and then that and then put the, put the thing on. I don't really film all that because I try to keep these videos short so you're not trudging through all of that. And you know, if you don't know how to do that, then you probably need to call in a professional. But that's it, it's buttoned up, it's been running, no rattling or nothing, and more importantly, more importantly, no leaking. That sucker was like Niagara Falls when I showed up. All right, that's it. First drain pan ever in my life. Thank y'all for watching The Dirty Maintenance Show.